Today we're going to talk about how to measure uh, website slowness. Um, this is, of course, something very important uh, for all of us because um, when you have a, a how do you say, it, online presence, uh, your website is for sure uh, customer facing in the case of businesses and uh, you want to have a well-performing website, otherwise uh, you might lose business. There is actually uh, a, an online resource called Kissmetrics that has run um, some, some time ago a, a survey along uh, its users and found out that generally the average expectation for a website uh, loading is uh, below two seconds and generally users tend to abandon a website if it takes more than three seconds to load. And I think each one of us agree with that, that when you're uh, dealing with the uh, with a, with a website uh, that it takes a lot of time to return content and respond to your action, um, that's really frustrating. And unless it's something that you really, really have to um, do on the website, you'd rather like close your tab and move on with uh, something else. So if you're one of the uh, kind of, if you own a website and it's important for you uh, to keep an eye on uh, its response time, or if you're even a network engineer, uh, that provides, you know, uh, connectivity and IT services to your end user and have to make sure that those users have a good uh, quality and user experience to web apps. Uh, there are a variety of tools that you can uh, use and, uh, um, and adopt to make sure that a website response time is good. Um, but before that, there are some other, like, metrics, user-centric metrics that I found it very, very uh, useful, um, and that I found on a on a developer's Google uh, page. Uh, I added here the link um, that you might want to be aware of. Um, so, loading a website is not just waiting for the full content to appear, but actually there are different stages between uh, when you first enter uh, the uh, URL on your browser and you get the entire content. There are different uh, phases that psychologically uh, give a feedback to the user that uh, something is moving. And if that doesn't happen pretty fast, uh, your user will abandon your web page. So um, as the Google developers show, there are different uh, stages in the loading, uh, loading experience of a web page. As you see here, first pane, first con contentful pane. So uh, you can go actually to that uh, URL and see a little more details about those different stages. But you can see, uh, you want to make sure that at least the first element, also when you when you develop a website, the first element your, your HTML page are provided and are available uh, to the users. So again, um, website uh, performance is uh, probably, there is more to it. It's not just a simple get and... Uh, uh, load the entire content, but uh, there are more um, things uh, to be aware of when uh, uh, dealing with the website performance and website development. So let's look at, like, at the tool that you can use uh, to time uh, the website, a website response time. Um, browser like Chrome, Firefox, I believe also Safari, and probably also the new Edge by Microsoft provide web developer tools. and. They're easily accessible from your browser, from the top menu. And those web developer tools give you almost a waterfall breakdown of how long it takes to load the individual content of a web page. So that's very important, of course, for web developers uh, to understand what takes a long time to load and it doesn't. Um, it could be also useful, of course, for network engineers if they're troubleshooting performance issues with, uh, with a specific application whether it's hosted on, uh, on the internal network or is it a, a third-party resource. Um, there are also many useful online resources, such as Google PageSpeed, for example. It gives you um, a very well uh, understanding of the average response time, uh, because also one thing that the Google developers stress is that um, it's not that a single number provides your uh, uh, your website response time. You have to do many measurements from multiple points with multiple browsers and then take the distribution. You can see really uh, what is actually your uh, website uh, performance. Um, and then there is also another resource which is HubSpot Website Grader that is good, especially for SEO. 
Of course, page loading time uh, is something that is included in the Google crawling uh, algorithm, where it will penalize websites that take a lot, lot of time to load. Um, so for SEO also, and HubSpot also, uh, um, you know, that online resource also grades the website also based on page loading time. Um, this case is very important. Uh, lastly, NetBiz, of course, uh, here we are. Uh, we also provide uh, uh, some uh, HTTP response time uh, tests in our, in our distributed monitoring solution. Uh, and then I'm going to show you quickly on our dashboard where you can assess and review uh, website performance from uh, all your network locations. So let me switch now page and go to our NetBiz dashboard. I want to show you some uh, areas within our dashboard where you can see how the uh, performance of HTTP uh, pages. So as you can see here on the bus tab, which is the kind of the dashboard, the main view of uh, NetBiz, you can see that we, uh, in this uh, section of the dashboard, we um, grade and we uh, categorize, um, I'd say sort uh, targets based on the HTTP response time. So you see that here we have 11 targets whose response time is less than half second. We have one target between half and one second and another target between one, uh, 1.5 and two second. And if I click here on this target, you see the Cisco like website. Uh, so I can always click here and what I'm shown is the uh, target detail view, right? So just to remind you, I'm monitoring this uh, Cisco Live website with 21 agents. So from multiple points uh, of my network, I want to verify uh, and assess uh, the page loading time for this specific uh, website. And you can see here the average response time for the last hour has been fairly stable, around 1.5 seconds. And at any point in time, I can click on this timeline and see what is the kind of page loading distribution uh, amongst all my locations. We can see that one agent takes uh, one between one and 1.2 seconds. The majority of agent takes between 1.2 and 1.4 seconds and so on. And six agent actually have a page loading time that it's even higher than 1.6 seconds. Um, of course, in this case, uh, also the page loading time, if you think, is, uh, uh, is uh, dependent on the location where these agents are, because the farther out they are from the target, which is the Cisco Live web, web server, and the longer it will take for that uh, page to load. Uh, and this is where, of course, distributed network monitoring comes into play. Uh, and the last section is the reports. Um, uh, you can always uh, generate a report for your target to see the overall status of the target for the last week. As you can see from all the location it was available. Uh, and here is the um, overall uh, timing of all those tests against that website uh, throughout the time period, which is uh, uh, the last week. And here you have also the page loading time sorted uh, by location. Um, including the round trip time to ping and so on. As you can see, there is a, a clear correlation between uh, higher HTTP page loading time and a higher ping round trip time. Okay, um, I think this demo took a little longer than uh, we expected, but I hope the content of uh, this video was beneficial to learn more about how to time and measure website performance. With that said, I wanted to thank you for your time. Uh, hope, hopefully you're having a good rest of your day and happy, have a nice weekend. Bye everybody.